Okay, let's roll right into our race winner for tonight's 29th annual Royal Purple 200 in the NASCAR Nationwide Series here at Darlington Raceway, and our race winner is Kyle Busch. He drives the number 18 Z-Line Designs Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. He's joined by his crew chief, Jason Ratcliffe. This is Kyle's fifth series win in 2011, his first nationwide win at Darlington, and it is his 48th win in the NASCAR Nationwide Series. He trails all-time leader Mark Martin by one. If I'm not mistaken, Kyle also has 94 National Series victories, 95 National Series victories. I have a... I have, yeah, I have a chart back at the office that breaks them down, and I'll, I'll get into the, the the pace that you're on, 200, 300, 400. We'll we'll keep keep a close count on that. But anyhow, Kyle, uh, congratulations, and talk about, you know, you made that move there on on Elliot got got ahead and clean air and looked like you were off to the races after that. Yeah, we were, but um, you know, it started this morning in practice. Jason and the guys brought a really good. Z-Line Designs Camry for the, to the racetrack for me. And, um, you know, we just kind of worked on a little bit, a couple things through practice, trying to make it a little bit better. And it seemed like the 20, you know, we knew we were going to have to race the 20. We knew we were going to have to race the 60 and, and Casey Kane for, uh, you know, for him winning the truck race here and, and KBM stuff that, uh, that he'd be, you know, he got a lot of knowledge in that race. And I figured he'd be a tough one to beat and sitting on a pole in the cup race, of course, too. So, he proved my point, and um, you know we we got racing there uh, through the beginning stages of the race, through the middle stages of the race, kind of trading back and forth. My car wasn't the best on a short run, but uh, seemed like it would really come to life on a long run, and was really good. And um, you know those other guys seemed to be faster than I was uh, on the short run. But um, you know we uh, we got in that pile up there that melee happened through one and two, and there was some slow cars in front of us that. I think got three wide and um, started wrecking off turn two, and unfortunately I got into my teammate there and spun him out. Uh, I hated I ruined Brian Scott's day, but, um, you know, somehow we scooted through and ended up all right, and then, um, you know, we just had to bide our time and try to get through the rest of the traffic and, and get by Danny and get by the two who was kind of out front by a little ways, but our car was really, really fast tonight, and like I said, on the long runs it would really come come forward, and, um, you know, it was good to uh, to win here for – Z-Line Designs, Jim and Monica, and for our first time at Darlington in the Nationwide Series. Jason Ratcliffe, uh, talk about the uh, how things uh, shook out today, and as Kyle alluded to, uh, really improved the car throughout as the day went. Yeah, we um, we were able to unload. I feel like we unloaded here probably closer than we have all year. Um, we're learning learning a little more about this car, so we were really pleased with it right off the truck. Uh, made some good changes. Um, felt like right at the end of practice, it would learn something that made the car better. And um, you know, starting up front was a was a plus. Um, got a good pit stall. Guys did, did a good job on pit road. This is just you know, really we just persevered tonight. The 60, the 38 were good. The 20 came on there. There was a lot of good race cars uh, that had some problems. And even even one time there, we thought we had uh, had some issues and had to come down pit road. Uh, but in the end, it, it it all shaked out. This is one that's. It's just kind of we've been good here in the past, and it's just kind of got away from us. So uh, to finally win one is uh, it's it's very gratifying uh, to win at this racetrack. It's a tough place, and uh, you know Kyle did an awesome job as usual. And we just had it there at the end. We had we had four tires, and most of those guys were racing. I think only had right side tires, uh, and I think that was the difference there at the end. Okay, very good. We'll take some questions. Go ahead. We'll start with Reed. Reed Spencer with Sporting News. Kyle, um, first of all, with Elliot on old tires and you on, on new tires, um, was it as tough as it looked you're getting around him finally, or were you just taking your time and being patient? And also, could you comment on now being within one of Mark Martin? Yeah, I was uh, I was taking my time and being patient. You know, I I got there kind of fast, and when I did, I made a move through three and four, and my car was just too tight around the bottom, the bottom line there. And um, it overheated the right front tire, so I just kind of got back in line and waited a little bit, waited a couple more turns, and was just seeing if I could get Elliot to bobble or, or make a mistake, and, and I could, you know, it'd be easier on me to get by him. So just waiting, but, um, you know, he got slowed up with a lap car off turn two, and I kind of 
built a run through one and two and got to his inside down the back and was able to clear him into three. So, um, you know, it was a good race there for a little bit and kind of interesting. I mean, I, I did try once, and then I was just like, all right, you know, just wait. There's still time. There's still laps left. And I was trying to make sure that I got by him before Denny got too close because I figured if we had a three-way battle that – Sometimes when there's two cars racing, it just leaves room for the third car to just blow by the both of them. You know, we see momentum carried, uh, carry you by guys so easily here sometimes. Um, you know, being within one of, of Mark's win record is uh, it's special. I mean, we've said it the last few times since I've probably been in, in five, within five of being able to eclipse him. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see when it happens, if it happens. Uh, maybe some of you say it's inevitable, uh, but... You know, to us, we just keep working our working our guts out and uh, making sure we bring good race cars to the racetrack. And, you know, I'm racing Dover and I'm racing Charlotte. So those are two really good places for me in a nationwide series. I've run really well at both of those. And uh, I've had great support from Z-Line Designs and those guys. So it would mean nothing more than to win, um, to tie in a Z-Line car and to, and to, to beat the record in a Z-Line car. But um, I think next week is a Mac Tool car. So... Um, I'm hoping I can still win, but um, you know, but if I don't, it it'll just push it back, and um, you know, I can get my Z-Line car on uh, in Charlotte. Other questions for Kyle or Jason? Go ahead, Lee. Lee Spencer, Fox Sports. Would you entertain putting Mark Martin in your truck if you had availability? In my truck? Yeah. Sure. Yeah, he can drive it. That's full right now, but next year, whatever he wants to do. Um, you know, even if there was an opportunity out there with somebody to uh, to do a full time nationwide deal and and um, maybe have Mark run it, I don't know. You know, talk's cheap, so it's all about whatever you can get worked out. But um, you know, I know Mark's looking, so I'm sure he's still interested in staying in Cup, obviously. But uh, you know, he might might entertain it. I don't know. Any other questions? All right, Kyle, Jason, Dwight's got one right over here. Get him a mic, please, Dennis. com. I know you're probably too busy to, to really figure this out, too busy winning <laughs> to figure this out. But you're, as a young guy is coming into Nationwide and, and Cup, it's a lot harder than what Do you feel it was harder than when you came up? And, and, and would you have a comment on that? I'm getting rises. As far as me winning races versus Mark or what? No, no, the, 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 uh, the younger guys now trying to get oh. rides. You know, the toughness that – did you face that in the, in, on your way up or not? Did I? Right. Um, you know, I, I did face that a little bit, yeah. And, um, you know, I, I, I feel for those guys. Um, the, the cool part about the way I came up, which is very fortunate that I'm here, is uh, I got in Rick Hendrick's stuff, and I was really good right off the bat. And, um, you know, we won some marker races. We finished really well in Nationwide. We won Nationwide races. We finished um, second in points my first year out. So I was a um, uh, I was a championship contending driver, you know. And, and even when the other guys were eligible, you know, we were still racing against the Mark Martins, the Jeff Burtons, the um, Carl was just getting started in cup stuff and whoever else. And... and um, you know, it'd be nice to see a few, a few more of these other guys uh, get some strong finishes and run well and have some chances to win, too, to, to solidify themselves and, and get their opportunity to stay here. Anything else? Kyle, congratulations. Jason, congratulations. And, uh, Kyle, good luck tomorrow night. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.